name is John Holden. I was asked to share my testimony. Uh, in 19, well, prior to 1997 when I got born again, I'd had marital problems with my wife and uh, I'd done some counseling and I got back into my home and everything was going hanky dory. And uh, then she invited me to go to an Easter service, which I hadn't done since Vietnam. And I said, okay, this is 1997. Uh, I was also asked to share my job description. I'm an accountant. I've been doing it for the good kind since 1973. And this was 1997. And I told my wife I had to do an inventory for one of my six bars I had for clients. And but it would take me a half hour, I told her, and I'd be ready to go to church. Well, I got to the bar, and the owner got to talking to me, and we had a few beers, and before I knew it, it was 1 o'clock, and I told my wife another lie, and she knew it, that uh, the inventory took a lot longer at that bar. And then she said something that blew me away was, how about next Sunday? Well, I had no excuse, so I said, okay. And the next Sunday, I went to this church, which... Uh, very charismatic. She thought I was going to get up and run when people raised their hand or spoke in the Holy Spirit, but uh, both those things happened. But I gave my life to the Lord, went forward, and my life changed entirely. Uh, uh, I couldn't get enough of Jesus. I still can't. I got involved with full gospel discipline pretty much right away. Uh, an attorney client of mine was involved with full gospel and told me about it. I got involved with the Gideons. I got involved with prison ministry to take Bibles into the prisons. I got into the Gideons. Uh, I'm an assistant uh, or associate uh, pastor for the Port of Brownsville, the Seafarer Center. A lot of things have taken place in my life. But some of the miracles I, I'd like to share about full gospel uh, were miracles. And uh, when I got saved, I was smoking two and a half packs of cigarettes a day. I had been for like 33 years. When I was in a Miami full gospel convention, I'll never forget it because everybody on the board that I was working with kept telling me I needed to go get prayer in the healing rooms. And I kind of told them, never. I wanted to quit smoking tomorrow. But the Holy Spirit guided me one day and, and told me to go, and I went on the day of registration on Thursday. We worked the convention starting on Sunday. And I went knowing that I couldn't get in because it'd be too busy because there's a lot of healings going on. And a fellow we had from o Ohio was there, and he saw me and he prayed over me and told me that nicotine demon was going to leave me. And... Uh, he prayed over me and then he asked me to do something that I didn't want to do. He said, take your cigarettes and step on the pack of cigarettes. Well, you know, back then, this is 97, cigarettes weren't like they are today, but they were still expensive. But I, I didn't tell him I had two cartons in the room, so I wasn't too worried. So I guess I felt guilty enough to step on the cigarettes, but I never reached for another cigarette from that time on. Two and a half packs a day. The Lord took it off me. He told me every time I wanted a cigarette just to save Jesus, and I did. And I think the first week I was a uh, non-stop Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. On the third week I could stand to be around people who smoked. Two months later I had the, the flu. I went to a doctor's office, uh, brother in full gospel, businessman, MD. And he does alternative medicine, and he did an IV on me to clean my lungs, he told me. An hour and a half later of IV, I coughed up zero. He couldn't believe it. He sent me to x-ray, and, you know, the Bible says when you're free, you're free indeed. When he does the work, my lungs look like a brand new baby, like I've never smoked one cigarette in my entire life. 33 years, two and a half packs a day, gone. That's a miracle of God. And uh, since then, my marriage, my family, my wife, 
everything's changed. It's just gotten better every single day. I've got grandchildren now. Uh, it's just gotten better every single day of my life. And I spend most of my life trying to figure out something else I can do for him. Because it's all about him, and we're on a testing ground right now, and it's going to be a very short time. God bless you all.